Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. All right, seven minutes into the hour, ladies and gentlemen. He's here. Ba, 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 ba. What? The one and only Fred Mwanga Ganda. Uh, Mwanga Ganda. Yo, what, 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 what is the origins of your last name? Well, my parents are from Uganda in East Africa. Okay. I was born here, but everyone thinks I'm an African booty scratcher, so I just kind of run with it. <laughs> okay, great. So you don't take offense to that, huh? Not at all. All right, do you scratch other booties? Uh, female booties, yeah. Okay, great. Good to know. Are you polygamous? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, good. Um, are well, you that's right. I'm African, right? I could, I could claim that, right? Well, if you could take care of them, then you could have as many wives as you want. I don't know. My, my, my wife right now, she's Jamaican, so... Oh, no, nah, she ain't having that. Yeah, uh, yeah she'll cut your neck off. <laughs> um, both of them. All right, man. Fred, how you been, man? I've been really, really good. I mean, this has been a great month. There's been a lot of craziness, a lot of ratchetness out there. And yeah. I'm, I can't wait to give it all to you guys. Yeah, man. This is our life. This is our society. <laughs> this is our world. This is a great world. I mean, when you think about it, you think about reality stars. There's a lot of stuff going on on there. There was sports, right? Yeah. And then there was um, just general ratchetness. Yeah. I mean, the you know the 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 Clippers stuff is on here. You know, well, I mean, well, we'll, we'll let's just start it now. Okay. Let's start with number five. The top five, um, number five story of the past month on MediaTakeout.com is the number five most popular story of the last month. Is Rihanna dumping Drake when she found out that he brought that Instagram thought with him to Toronto? Tell everyone what a thought is. It's that hoe over there. Just in case they didn't know. Okay. No. So the idea is Drake and Rihanna, as everyone knows, they've been together for the last couple of weeks. They were together in London. They were together in Los Angeles. And everybody figured that the two of them were really getting serious. Yeah. Well, Drake went to Toronto to kind of go and groupie out himself to the Toronto Raptors. And he brought a... Houston thought with him. A woman that he met on Instagram. The two of them have been exchanging Instagram posts back and forth. And Drake decided to fly her out. And they've been together now for the past week in Toronto. Yo, Drake is my hero. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, when you're young and you can <laughs> well, do it well, like that. Yeah, well, if he's flying him, he says it in his music. Yeah. You know, he says it in songs. I'll fly you out. Gotta fly you out. I mean, he does. He's doing who he is. Exactly. I mean, that's the one thing about Drake. I mean, Kanye was like that too for a while. Yeah. I mean, he just basically tells you what it is. This is his life. He's yeah. not. He's you know, he's open and honest about it. And he tells you what it is, and he told. I'm sure he told Rihanna what it is. I mean, I'm sure if she listens to his music, she knew what it was too. Yeah, and she's the same way. You know, what's the problem? That was big news. Well, like, who, I mean, who thought it was going to last? Like, it just seemed like it was a vacation they were taking together. No, I think a lot of people, especially when you have names that big, you know, they're at the top of their game right now. When you have them together, people want them to be together. People want them to be serious. People want marriage. People want babies. And I think, you know, the idea of it all fizzling out so quickly, a lot of people just didn't like that. Hey, man, I just want them to be happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, that's the number five. The number four top story on MediaTakeout.com is? The number four top story of the month. Is Colin Kaepernick getting accused or being investigated for a possible sexual assault? From the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. The, the quarterback. This is this is big news. I mean, not only is he one of the best players in the league right now, this was he was up for his first big contract this summer. So he's actively negotiating with the 49ers for a new contract. Yeah. People were saying that he was gonna get somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty million dollars a season. So I mean, this is big money that he's got out there. And so now a woman is claiming that she was in his apartment or an apartment with him. She was somehow something happened to her and she fell out. She woke, She was in and out of consciousness, saw Colin Kaepernick and his boys all around her. And next thing she knows, she wakes up in the hospital getting rape kits and she doesn't know what happened to him. Really? Does she know how she got to his apartment? Right. Well, she, yeah, no, she does. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is interesting, too, because yeah. the two of them actually have a history together. So they've been going back and forth, texting each other back and forth. Colin Kaepernick actually invited her over to the apartment, told her the directions, and she came there. So, I mean, she willingly came to the apartment. What was happened she, afterwards is, is where I think the problem is. Was she an adult? Yeah, she's an adult. Okay. What did she go to the apartment for? Well, but that, see, here, here, here's, I think, the issue. She's not necessarily claiming that anything happened. All she knows, and this is legitimate, right, is that she went to an apartment with a guy that she knows. She's now in and out of consciousness. And she's seeing all kinds of random dudes like coming into the room while she's undressed. Now, is this Tayana? Uh, what's her Tayana Taylor? No, no, no. Uh, but we're that not was gonna, a rumor. Right? There was a lot of rumors saying that it was her. It's yeah. definitely not her. Okay. We got Christina on the line from Texas. Good morning, Christina. How you doing? Morning, Sam. I'm doing really well. How are you? I can't complain. I can't complain. I'm doing better. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about this, uh, Colin? Uh, um, 
You know, I know that you mentioned that this woman was an adult and she probably knew what she was going to that apartment there for. Or, you know, she knew what was going to go down when she went there. Yeah. Um, she had a relationship with this man, whatever the case may be. Um, but if I go to somebody's apartment agreeing to have sex with them and I'm not conscious to say, yeah, I want to fuck your homeboys too, uh, his homeboy should not be fucking me while I cannot consent. That's right. Uh, yeah, 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 I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's it right now. I mean, obviously, no one is. Uh, we're all making a lot of assumptions here. We don't know that an actual sexual assault has happened. All she knows is that she was out. She was cool with with you know him and her and Colin Kaepernick getting a, getting a, getting a popping. Yeah, but she falls out. She wakes up and there's all kinds of dudes over her and stuff. And then next, you know, she's in the hospital. She wants to know exactly what's going on. I think the police want to know. I think the district yeah. attorneys. But that's not to say the dudes did anything, right? Right. We don't know that they did anything, but we we got to investigate. Right? Lisa, you're in Oklahoma. What are your thoughts on this? I think I'm a big fan. First of all, I like to say hi to you, Heather B. Tracy G. Hey, thank you. You're a citizen. A sway in the morning. Go ahead. And she went there with the intention of having sex with Colin because she was in there giving him a blowjob, and his friends kept coming in there looking, and I guess when she took off her clothes, he changed his mind and left. Oh, okay. You heard that? Have you heard that? Yeah, well, I mean, there are all kinds of reports right now. I mean, essentially, we're getting it from, you know, the female side of it, right? Yeah. So what, the way we get it is she doesn't know exactly what happened, but, you know, she was not... They, the, the Colin Kaepernick had left the room. She doesn't. It wasn't like they came in. You know, Doran. Yeah. He had left, and then they came in afterwards. So that's why she had a problem with it. You know what I mean? Okay, a uh, friend. Yeah. That was number five and number four. The number three top story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com is the number three top story of the month is all the drama surrounding Floyd Money Mayweather and the breakup of his uh, his marriage. I mean, his his uh, fiance. Why now, though? I this, mean, this it's actually really interesting. Now, I think as many people know, Floyd is fighting this weekend in Las Vegas. Is fighting uh, uh, my Donna, and I'll be flying out today because we'll be broadcasting from there tomorrow, and I'll be at the fight Saturday. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hello. And so a lot of people don't realize they're thinking, oh, this is another fight. You know, Floyd's just gonna be able to walk right through this guy, and this guy's nothing. He's nobody. This dude is serious. This dude is he's a brawler. He knows how to fight. He fought Adrian Broner, who you know he got a similar style to Floyd. And he gave Adrian Broner all kinds of problems, put him on the canvas, all kinds of stuff. So this is a serious fight. Fred, you obviously don't know much about boxing, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, listen, this is, it's serious enough. When you're in the guy the, ain't big the enough. Way. But may, maybe you're saying that, but there's a lot of stuff going on in Floyd's head right now. I mean, he's just gone through the breakup. He's been with Miss Jackson for about three years. The two of them were together. The two of them were in love, living together, engaged to be married. Their relationship is broken up. Yep. All kinds of... Slander has been going back and forth between the two of them online. And now you've actually got she's left him and is now dating one of his celebrity homies, Nelly. The two of them were at the Miami Heat game earlier this this week, sitting front court, letting the whole world know that the two of them are getting it popping. I mean, that's just real, okay, you know, real I will dirty. say, I remember when Mike Tyson flew to Japan and fought Buster Douglas and suffered his first loss. His first loss, right? And um, his first loss, and that was because of all the things he was going on going on in his life with Robin Givens. So, I could see what your point is, but you don't know boxing, man. That dude, that dude, that dude is going—he's going to bum rush Floyd and try to knock him out, and then what happens if it doesn't happen? Well, I mean, listen, you are—you you might be right on that, but I mean, I think that this fight—if—if if this was a fight that you were thinking, ah, maybe I might miss it, this is a fight you definitely want to see right now because. This is, who knows what could happen. I mean, if I'd have told you that Buster Douglas was going to knock out Mike Tyson, you'd have said, no, it can't happen. Buster Douglas doesn't have the skills. He doesn't yeah. have this. But, you know, boxing is very mental. You go in there, you know, you slip up, you 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 miss, forget about a, one punch, and that punch hits you. It's a, it's a wrap. And we already we saw what this dude could do. He put Broner on the ground. So, I mean, he could yeah, definitely but do different. it. different. Broner is no Floyd Mayweather. Well, we'll you. see, man. man. You want to bet money on it? No, no, no. Listen, right. man, I'm... Uh Wait a minute, wait a minute. We just received breaking news. Sway in the morning, Shade 405. This will be the first time you ever heard this information. We just received breaking news in regards to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Fred Mwanga Ganga from MediaTakeout.com has reported about Floyd Mayweather and this upcoming fight. Might be somewhat challenging because of some of the personal issues he's been facing. Number one being the breakup with his longtime fiance. That's right. 
Uh, Miss, her name is Miss Jackson, Chantal Jackson. The two of them were together. She was on, uh, she was on the Showtime show with them. She was on the HBO show to go together with them. They were really, truly, and madly in love. It was a very, it was a breakup, and people were wondering what exactly was it that caused Floyd. He loved her. Yep. It was clear uh-huh. to break up with her. Okay. And now the news has just broke that the reason why Floyd Mayweather and her th- broke up yeah. is because she had an abortion. What? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. She this had is, an abortion? This is, yeah. The, the, there's information that's coming from a very, very trusted source from us uh-huh. that she had an abortion while they were together. Yeah. That she wasn't forthcoming with Floyd about the abortion. Uh-huh. And he's he adamantly does not believe. Yeah. yeah. In uh, in abortion. What, 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 so what do you mean? Was it forthcoming? She, he knew she was pregnant. Well, yeah, he did, and uh, he uh, he was under the belief mm. that, uh, from what our sources say, that he was under the yeah. belief that 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 she had miscarried. And miscarried. It was actually twins. Oh, so two babies. That's, That's sad. a scandal. That's sad. That's sad. It's a, it's a sad thing. It was just something yeah. that really broke his heart. Obviously, yeah. you know, losing uh, two children, and now um, the word is that it was an abortion. Mm. It wasn't. Uh, you just got this information. This information literally came over seconds ago. Uh-huh. It came from a trusted source, and we looked at it. We looked into it, and uh, it's there. Wow. So, so basically, the source is saying that she had an abortion, yeah, but told him it was a miscarriage. Right. I don't understand that. Why? Right. Uh, you know, who knows exactly what it is? I mean, there's all kinds of speculation. And listen, I don't want to put another kind of speculation. Maybe it wasn't yeah. his kids. Maybe they would have known when it comes out. Or who knows exactly what it was, Yeah. what her reasoning was behind it. But I mean, I think Floyd is pretty clear that he really is about, he wants, he loves children. He wants to have, he wanted to have a family. Yeah, with he always her. has his kids with them. You always right. see the kids at the fights. Right. It's and the fact guy. that she yeah. did that, that was enough for him, I think, to, to walk away from the relationship. Now, what type of headline are y'all going to put for that? Can you be sensitive for once? Yeah, maybe? yeah. I mean, I think we <laughs> want to just kind of get as much as we can out of this. Don't hold your breath there, Tracy G. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, that's right. sad to know. Man, wow. Wow. You know what? Let's move on. And I know you're going to explore that. That was the number three top story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com. The number two top story in the past month on MediaTakeout.com is? The number two top story of the month is the L.A. Clippers owner making that terrible racist tape. You could do whatever you want. You could sleep with him. You could bring him in. You could do whatever you want. The little I ask you is not to promote it on that. And, and not to bring him to my games. I don't bring anyone to the game. Okay, then. There's nothing to argue about. I know. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen that on foil in front of the world's very eyes. What more can you say to that? Yeah, I mean, there's not much more. I think she, you know, the two of them, uh, uh, Vistaviano was with them for ten year, for four years. The two of them have been going back and forth. Vicious, nasty blow up. She taped him. She snitched. He lost the team. Wow. And as a result, the NBA commissioner. Yeah, she she the NBA commissioner has taken the team from him. Yep. Um they're gonna be they're gonna vote. The two thirds of the owners are expected to vote to have the team to, to have not only banned but to lose the team. And then there's gonna be an auction and people are gonna be able to bid and uh someone there's gonna be a new owner of the Los Angeles Clippers. And two point five million dollar fine. Two point yeah. five right, two point five million dollars. I don't know. The number one top story of the past month of MediaTakeout.com <laughs> is the number one. The number one top story on Media Takeout the past month is Mimi and Nico and that ratchet ass sex tape. Oh my gosh, it lives. And this was the crazy thing about that sex tape. At first, she's talking about how she didn't leak it, how she's so sad she has to speak to her family members, her nieces and nephews and her daughter. But then she's giggling with paparazzi and she did that interview of World Star Hip Hop saying this about her haters. Fuck y'all and your fucking opinions about me and my motherfucking life. I'm going to handle mine how I handle my shit. You handle yours how you handle yours. If you want to lie and be fake about it, do you. I'm going to tell the motherfucking truth, bitch. How about that? Okay? Yo. We are a classless society. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Well, I, I could give you a little bit of background on the Mimi sex tape. You know they talk about the Mimi sex tape actually leaked? Well, we actually leaked it. Mediatakeout.com? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, how did you leak it? So how did you get it? Well, I mean, we, we can't talk explicitly about how we got it, but yeah. we got it. Fuck y'all! And we, <laughs> we put it out. Fuck y'all! And then there was some drama surrounding that. Fuck 
y'all. And um, and then eventually they ended up selling it. So I mean, and you're, the good thing about it is you get to actually watch it play out. Yeah. On Love and hip hop this season. You get to see when it leaked. Fred, know, tell me the stuff. truth, man. Was this a publicity stunt? I mean, to give it to MediaTakeout.com means you want the world to know. Listen, man, I can't I, I I can't judge people's motives. I don't know exactly why. I know it was leaked. You know, I know that I got a lot of yelling phone calls when it was leaked. Fuck so y'all. people weren't happy about it. You know, <laughs> who? And did you get a call from Mimi? <laughs> I got a call. Moda was not happy about the fact that it was leaked. And there were other people that weren't. So it wasn't like, it was not some big concocted, you know, love and hip hop thing. I could tell you that. Okay. You know? All right. Moda so, Scott being an executive producer of love and hip hop. Right. You know what? Um, Fred Mwanga Ganga, thank you for coming by. Thank you. People can reach you on Twitter. Or do you do that? Uh, yeah, I think I'm on there somewhere. Okay, cool. And check out MediaTakeout.com. Thank you very much, man. You're, you're listening to Sway in the morning on Shea 45.